Amen. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. Amen. He's here. And there's none like him. He's more beautiful than anyone in the universe. We put our trust in him. Hallelujah. Tell your neighbor. It's a neighbor. Might have gone through difficulties. It's troubles. Battles in life. Financial difficulties, financial mistakes. But I want to tell you, my God, who, my God is with me and it shall be well. Hallelujah. We are believing God for mighty miracles to take place. And the God of miracles cannot fail us. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. Glory be to God. We are not building this property by our pocket. We are building it by the pocket of the great God, Jehovah. He is more than able. I was so blessed listening to Pastor Goloa as he was share, sharing the issue of um, um, the statement from the wife. I said, wow, you married a good woman. Amen. That was a powerful statement. You all remember that statement? That's a statement of faith. You remember what? The you remember the statement. What will you? What will you give if money was not an issue? So the time to get money not to be an issue is now. <laughs> that is a question that only people like my wife can ask. I don't know your wife also is at that level. So my wife is good at pushing me, pushing me sometimes. Getting me to believe the impossible. You now see why I'm pressing on. But sometimes my faith goes beyond the way that she can. She's asking me, are you sure, are you sure? <laughs> Hallelujah. But it's good to be married to women who can push you. Who can say, believe more, brother, brother. <laughs> Amen. Because that was a huge statement. I was listening to it. I said, wow, that's it. What will you give if money is not an issue? I just pay the six million dollars. Take care of it. Amen. Add another four for other contingencies. <laughs> Ten million right there. Hallelujah. I pray it becomes your story. I pray it becomes your story. I pray it becomes your story. Amen. We must get to a point. The Lord has been telling me not to depend on what my income, but to depend on him. We must get to a point where miracles become normal for us. If you are a child of God, financial miracles are your portion. Amen? Tell your neighbor, financial miracles are your portion. If you are a child of God. Because we are good at believing God for, to heal the headache. To heal the... But when it comes to finances, we say, Lord, I need to walk. <laughs> but the Bible expects you to walk. Don't, don't get me wrong. Are you getting me? Don't go and say, Pastor, preach out. No, no, no. That's a lie. I can't say that in Jesus' name. <laughs> I am saying <laughs> that which is beyond your labor, which is the hand of God in it. Hallelujah. That which is beyond your labor. I was listening to a lady who was explaining um, uh, the founder of Microsoft, Bill Gates, how he became the richest man on earth. At that time, now he's no more. He's one of the richest, but not at the top. But he used another person's... Um, he got people to do things. Are you getting what I'm saying? He got people to write... Uh, to write what? The quotes and the stuff. Yeah. And he bought them. Exactly. For 20,000. Wow. Yes, he bought it for around 20,000. And then, send it to the whole world. 
and became the richest man on earth for a long time. Where are believers? <laughs> Buy your own for 20,000 also and make it. <laughs> In the name of Jesus. <laughs> I was just pondering about the whole thing. Amen? You remember when uh, Amazon started? Or well, just some website selling books. Today, they sell everything. Everybody goes there. <laughs> so, child of God, let's dream. Let's believe God. Amen. Because remember, this is God's building. We are building it God's way. With God's pocket. And his pocket does not run dry. Today, the Holy Spirit really encouraged me. He said, my son, it shall be by my spirit. It's not by might nor by power, but by my spirit. Amen. Hallelujah. I began praying for one million dollar checks. Six million dollar checks. I'm praying that Lord, you provide some people that would, would release the money and they shall come forth. Amen. Amen. So, I am praying and believing God that it shall be powerful. Praying for a hundred thousand dollars, ten thousand dollars. Amen. So the capacity of our God is not limited. Tell your neighbor, God is not limited. Amen. Glory be to God. Glory be to God. Glory be to God. So I'm very excited with what was being shared because when. Um, our youth pastor was sharing. I just said to myself that he did not know. That he was just sharing some of the burdens in my heart and leading us to pray for that. It's just amazing how the spirit can connect. Amen. I was just so blessed because we have not talked for, for days now. Amen? Amen? I think he needs to repent. <laughs> I think he decided to just leave, leave me alone for my birthday. It's a, it's a bad day because we had meeting to prepare for Benihin event and it was cancelled because of my bed. I got ready, I was going to the Zoom. I just received a message, meeting cancelled. <laughs> I said, he wrote to the person and told the people that he said, it's my bishop's birthday, so the meeting is cancelled. I said, but birthday you walk. <laughs> You plan the meeting, plan the event with Benihin is so serious that bet they can wait. Let's plan, but he has already gone ahead and canceled the meeting. I said, This guy wants me to celebrate birthday by force. <laughs> Hallelujah. Glory. Glory be to God. Amen. So he decided not to call me for days. <laughs> Just cancel the meetings. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. So he, he said he called me. I heard something pass as though he said something. <laughs> it went to voicemail. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you all for the birthday which is I've not I've not <laughs> Hallelujah. I've not answered many of you yet. It's coming. I've been so busy the last few days. Amen. Amen. Glorious things are happening. Amen. To God be the glory. Amen. Say, my God is faithful. Amen. Amen. I want us to proclaim certain things tonight and pray for certain things tonight. It's not like a preaching. It's just proclamation. And we shall proclaim things that we want God to do. Amen. Amen. And believe God. Holy Spirit, I love you. I honor you here, and I glorify your name, and I thank you for your sweet presence. You are worthy to be praised. You are worthy to be adored. This is your church. These are your people. Glorify your name. And we pray and say, Spirit of the living God, we bless you. We honor you. We worship you. We welcome you. We magnify you. 
You will be praised. You will unveil to us the mystery of the Father. And you will unveil to us the mystery of the Son. Let your name be praised. Let your name be adored. In Jesus' name. Amen. He's here. The Spirit of God. Amen. Hallelujah. Second Timothy 2 verse, verse 1 and 2. He says, Thou therefore, my son, be, be strong in the grace that is in Christ Jesus. Hallelujah. Be strong in the grace. What is grace? Grace is God's enabling. Amen. And the Lord is saying, be strong in God helping you. Amen. Are you getting it? Yes. Grace is the enabling of God. God working for you. Grace is God's riches at Christ's expense, as they say. God moving and intervening on your behalf. That's why Paul said, I walk more than they all, yet not I, but the grace of God that was upon me. So the grace of God is God's ability at work in you. And God is asking that you should be strong in that grace. It means that you should apply grace more than ever. You should enjoy the power that comes by grace. Be strong not in the works but in the grace of God. It means the works that you do must be backed and propelled by grace. Grace carries you further than your work can carry you. The mercy of God is required to make history. We are building God's house. We need grace. We need to be strong in the grace of God. You therefore, my son, be strong in the grace that is in Christ Jesus. Wow. Be strong in the grace. Child of God, there is the factor of our ability and there is the factor of God's ability through us. God's ability through us is not limited, but our own ability is limited. You can only go thus far with human being, human ability. But once God is at work, there are no limits for which you can go. Amen. Today, I was talking with the realtor and we're uh, discussing the price because the appraisal came back. And we're discussing the price of the land. Make, we, we are working on making an offer. We, we send everything and he will be making an offer. And as we're talking, um, I just understood something. The Lord, because he was telling me the issue of dealing with the city, dealing with the county for water and the rest, how to get, if we don't get water there, he, the place need to pack for enough uh, water. For the church, if you are building this amount of, there must be enough water to carry this. He was just giving me some issues. And then also, <laughs> and, and he was speaking a lot with how doctors speak. No doctors? I'm married to one, but my own has repented. It's not very much. When we got married, a small thing is painting me like this. My wife can explain to me. She was just from medical school. She can explain to me what it might be. You end up being afraid of that small pain. <laughs> small pain that the side like this. My wife explained what it can be and what. So ask her, why is it that when you explain this thing, it frightens me more than what? It is? <laughs> and then she told me that they are trained to expect the worst and to move from there. So that you are not sued to, if you miss something. So you have to go and check to be sure that you have done your job. Check, expect the worst. I said, please, for me, expect the better. <laughs> Hallelujah. So from that time, I started fearing doctors. Because when you attend, they go like that. They start telling you, maybe this. My doctor was giving me details of my, said, tell, write me, tell me details of my family. I said, my God, my family has issues. <laughs> if you have to name the disease of my family, <laughs> you 
You may feel yourself sick already. <laughs> so, so, so this, my wonderful, we have a great realtor. He's very nice, very soft-spoken, nice man. He was telling me some of the contingencies of how to build and the issues and the rest. And he's telling me that it may take many months to get this, this, this. I said, huh? I said, but what do you mean by, I said, God will make our own faster. So I was trying to, but he said, no, but I have to give you all these facts to explain to you the process and the rest and the rest. As he was talking, after he left, the Lord spoke to me. This, he said, grace. He does not understand that you are depending on the grace of God. He is giving you the basic facts of purchasing the property, building, but he has not yet understood that you are not just dealing with normal stuff. You are dealing with grace. And then today, as I was praying, praying in the Holy Spirit, and I had something else because my plan was to just continue the, the finish on the, the other gifts of the Spirit. The Lord spoke to me and said, be strong in my grace. So I was surprised when I read the first verse of Timothy, second, second Timothy 2, the first verse is talking about that. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You can be strong in your strength. Amen. You can be strong in your and in your ability. Or you can be strong in the grace of God. Some of us make commitment of what we will give. We need grace to do it. Amen. Some make the one they can give. They depend on themselves. On the ability. It's not a bad thing. You go by how far you can believe God for. Amen? You go by your level of faith. But if you believe God for miracles, you go by the miracles. And the Lord begins to turn things towards your direction. It says here, let's read. You, are, you, def, you therefore, my son, be, be strong. Shout it. Be strong in the grace that is in Christ Jesus. Hallelujah. So the grace of God that is upon you, that is in Christ Jesus, you can be strong in that grace and begin to accomplish things by grace. Your marriage is succeeding by grace. Your children are making it right by grace. Hallelujah. Amen. You drive from here to Baltimore to your house safely by grace. Amen. You must understand that you live by the grace of God. And you move and breathe by the grace of God. It is by grace that you wake up this morning. It's by grace. God's grace is abundant over your life. You go to work by grace. You have your job by grace. Amen. You find favor before your boss by grace. Because some of these things people don't have. Or people go through it difficult. If your children go right, it's by grace. I repeat, it's by grace. Amen. I know of somebody who was crying in, um, in TB in those early days. A man of, of God and his wife. How? He said, I brought my child in to love the Lord, live for the Lord. Little did I know that my son will become a murderer. The son was brought to live for the Lord. He, become, he was on death sentence. Killed somebody. He was repenting in the jail, but he was to be killed. He came from a Christian home. And they were weeping on open TV, asking, Lord, where did we fail? 
How come we produce a son in church and he became a murderer? When I saw it, at that time I was not even married. I just saw, I saw, I said, wow, this is serious. But I want to announce to you, he, that lady said something with tears in her eyes. Because some of her children went well. One went astray. Got involved with the wrong crowd. Start drinking, smoking, doing drugs. And they had to kill to get drugs, money. But listen, people. When she was sharing that story, she said, I came to the conclusion, children go right by grace, by mercy. I said, we took our children from one retreat after the other, did everything to this young man to walk with God. How much parents must, bur must be burdened for their children? That they walk with God, that they live for the Lord. He said, children go right by grace. You should have a holy fear over your children and proclaim the grace of God over them. He said, by the grace of God, my son, you will go right. By the mercy of God, it's not based on what you have done. He said, we gave them everything. We prayed for them. We fasted for our children. This, how come this one ended this way? Children go right by grace. Tell your neighbor by grace. So be strong in the grace of God. Hallelujah. You therefore, my son, be strong in the grace that is in Christ Jesus. I want us to proclaim in prayer tonight and tell the Lord, I will be strong in your grace. Amen. I will be strong in your grace. Your grace to succeed as a husband. Your grace to succeed as a wife. Your grace. I want you to put away your pride tonight. And understand that what you are is because you receive it. The Bible says, what do you have that you have not received? That's what the scripture says. What do you have? It includes everything. Whether your wife, your husband, your, what do you have that you have not received from the Lord? All what you have, you have received it from the Lord. This day, give up your pride of saying that you have accomplished it. Understand that you are where you are by grace. By God's mercy. You are at the position you are by grace. You are where you are by the grace of God. God has put you there by grace. The reason why things have not exploded for your family is because of grace. Other families have ended in a divorce. Yours is remaining. It's not because you're very spiritual. It's the grace of God. Amen? Amen. So I want us to stand up and worship the Lord. And thank him and say, Father, thank you for the abundance of grace that is upon my life. I have found mercy because of your grace. You have been good to me because of your grace. My children are alive because of your grace. I met a lady who lost seven children. Seven. Most of her children died. I learned to thank God that my children are alive. We take a lot of things for granted. Amen? By grace, by grace. I'm sharing this to let you know we shall build that property by grace. Amen. Hallelujah. It will not be by might nor by power, but by the grace of God. Amen. One day we'll say, thank you, Lord, by your grace, this is done. Amen. So tell your neighbor it's time to, to, to know the grace of God. I want us to pray together. Amen? Amen? First of all, thank God for the many things which he has brought into your life by grace. Some of us are in America by grace, by his mercies. How were we selected? Only God knows. Some of us, we own things by grace. House by, by grace. Mercies, amen? amen? He has been good to us. He has been good to us. God has been good to you, to you, to you, to you, to you, to you. 
He has been so good to us. Hallelujah. Let's worship him. Let's bless him. We give you the glory. We give you the honor. We are where we are today by the grace of God. The church is where it is today by the grace of God. My family is where it is today by the grace of God. We worship you, Lord. It has been by your grace. Thank you for your grace. Thank you for our children. Thank you, Lord God of us, for the fact that you have protected our lives. We have been flying all over the world and your shield and your grace has been over our lives Lord you have been good to us you have been good to this church you have been good to everyone here you have been good to our church here and all our church online we give you the glory all our brethren who are part of this ministry yeah or oh, online you have been good to them Lord you have been good to our people you have been good oh great God we worship you your goodness has been abundant over our lives your mercies have been abundant over our lives we pray that you teach us Lord how to be strong in the grace of God to depend in the grace of God so that all glory will be given to you we will give you glory for our homes we will give you glory for our children we will give you glory for our marriages we will give you glory for our jobs we will give you glory for our cars we will give you glory for everything around us we you will be worshipped every day every morning every afternoon we will be grateful people Lord may we be strong in your grace and proclaim claiming your grace and establishing that it is by your grace lord that we have triumphed it is by your grace lord that we are walking with god it's by your grace lord that we are not living in sin it's by your grace lord father teach us to re to to rejoice and depend on your grace and your mercy upon our life let's tell him that by his grace he will build his property he will build his house God alone will build his house let's tell him that by his grace the house the miracle center shall be built by the grace of God let's proclaim it in the name of the Lord Jesus we proclaim miracle center shall be built by the grace of God by the mercies of God by the hand of the great God by our provider our source who is the living God we worship you Lord you are our source you are our provider and you shall build your house oh great God thank you Lord because miracle center shall be built oh great God by the grace of God we thank you we will, Lord we will be strong in the grace that is in the Lord Jesus Christ we trust you we believe you Lord father we give you the glory because you are building this house and you shall build it for beauty and for glory you deserve it lord father may may you use your people to build a house that gives you maximum glory that it will be echoed far and wide this is the finger of god this is the hand of god to be glorified from beginning to the end oh great god receive the glory receive the praise receive the honor may it be echoed far and wide this is the finger of the most high god we give you praise we give Give you glory, Raka Shoro Koresians, and worship him and bless him and proclaim miracle center shall be built with the grace of God. The grace of God, Raka Roba Kashara Karoba Ka Roko Daraba Kashoro Koraka Daraba Sharaba Roko Raka Daraba Shanda. the Lord wants us to repent. The Lord just told me that first get the people to repent for all the time they have depended on themselves. Amen? Because tonight we'll enter into a major victory. Amen. And that major victory will change your life forever. 
God wants to do something here tonight. You begin to be grateful people. And you begin to accomplish more. Because you will no more depend on yourself. You depend on God. Let's repent for all our complaints. All our grumblings. All. Today, my wife and I were just listening to the word. Because we have the word on in our room. And we decided to put it 24 hours. And as we are passing, the Lord spoke to Moses. He said, how long will these people murmur against me? And God repeated it so many times, mentioned murmuring. When you murmur, it's serious to God. We just got it by, by as, as we're listening. He said, how long will they murmur against me? And then the Lord said, I'll put an end. They are murmuring against you also. So God is against murmuring. Are you getting it? Complaining and murmuring. God is against it. Because it's an act of unbelief. He's saying God is out of control. God will not do what you think. So I was, I was just surprised how God took memor, murmuring and he said, because they have murmured against me, they will not enter the promised land. They shall not. They shall not enter the land. So I want us to pray and ask God to forgive us. For the areas in our life where we have murmured, we have complained, maybe at home about something, about we are, we are so blessed, but we don't see the blessing. We only see the things that are bad. It's yes. Blessed with children, and you mumble about your children. Oh, these children are horrible. Yes, that's part of the moment. Horrible children, disturbing us. There are people who even look for children to disturb them. They don't find. Are you getting what I'm saying? Basic stuff that we mumble about, which normally, I remember I was sharing with somebody how I read an article in those days when I was young that really blessed me. I just came to the Lord. They talk about a man who sat somewhere and was crying that he doesn't have shoes. Crying. Then he saw a lame man dragging himself on the floor with no feet. He said, the Lord spoke to him. You are crying, you don't have shoes. This one doesn't even have feet to put the shoes. Are you grateful for your legs? So some of our complain, I tell people, go, let, travel with us to some places. You thank God for America. Amen? Amen. You thank God. This country, if you work hard, you make it. Amen. At least I'm talking about the natural sense. We are moving to this from natural to spiritual. Amen. Amen. We want the God factor. Amen. The grace factor. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. But I'm saying let's repent for all the grumbling. All the complaining. This, this is. We grumble even on the road. Meet a little traffic. Look at it. Where is everybody going? One day I asked that question. <laughs> and the Lord spoke back to me. Where are you going yourself? You are complaining about them. They may be complaining about you. <laughs> so the next time I meet traffic, I say, Father, I don't want to complain. <laughs> but I need to get to <laughs> in the name of Jesus. Can he go? <laughs> Hallelujah. So God is so interested in our attitude. I want you to know Christianity is not this type of uh, life where you just ignore your attitude. Build yourself not to be a complainer. Amen. Always thank God for the good and you'll be a happy person. Amen. As long as you always see the things that are wrong. How's, look, at this, look, at, look at what these children have done. Well, look at, you end up seeing more. Wow. Have you noticed that the day you are complaining, that day things, everything goes wrong. You start it, you prophesy complain, God gives you reason to complain. But that today, let's repent. Let's ask God to forgive us. Amen? Amen. Amen. To cleanse us. They're complaining about that house. Some don't even have a house. Amen? Thank God for that house and trust God for a bigger house. A better one to come. Today, I want us to repent. Tell God, from today... I ask you to forgive me 
of all the complaints I have made, I've grumbled, I've murmured about this, about this, about this. Let's repent. Amen? Let's pray together. Father, we ask that you forgive us. Forgive me, Lord, both our church here and our church online for all the murmuring and the complaining about things not going our way, about things going the way we don't want, and all the murmuring about various things in our homes, our children, our wives, our husbands, our job, everything that we have murmured about and complain and grumble, Lord God. We ask for forgiveness. We pray that you forgive us as individuals and forgive us as a church. The things we have murmured against you, the things we have murmured against spiritual leadership, the things we have murmured against your work and against your kingdom and against the things that, Father, we fail as though it's not working the way we wanted it to work. We ask that, Lord, from today, you have mercy on us. You forgive us. And Lord, we will be strong in your grace. And we will be people who depend on your grace. From today, Lord, we ask you to deliver the church and deliver each one of us. Forgive me, Lord, for the times, oh God, instead of thanking you for what you have done, I'm looking at what is still to be done. I am so sorry for being ungrateful. And I ask that each one of us here, Lord, Father, will put in gratitude out of our life today. And we shall be grateful for the little things that look little, but they are mighty to us. We pray, Father, help us. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. Be strong in the grace of God. If you are still praying, it's okay. Finish praying. The mercy of God is here. And the Lord is forgiving his people. Hallelujah. Teach us how to be grateful. Teach us how to be grateful. Teach us, Lord, in Jesus' name. Amen. You know this song, count your blessings, name them one by one. Can we start our service on Sunday with that? Mm? Can, when upon life pillows you are tempted stores, when you are discouraged thinking all is lost, Count your many blessings, name them one by one. And you will keep singing as the days go by. Count your blessings, name them one by one. Count your blessings, see what God has done. Count your blessings, name them one by one. And you will see what the Lord has done. Hallelujah. Amen. Can your blessings name them one by one? You may be complaining about that wife, but at least you are married. You may be complaining about that husband, but at least you have one. <laughs> My wife remembers this how <clears throat> a sister once stood near in front of us, beautiful sister. In her shock, we're ministering deliverance to her. And she said, she just stood up. She was just sharing her life. He said, look at me. Is there anything wrong with me? And she was doing like that in front of another man. Thank God my wife was there. Turning herself like this. <laughs> look at me. Is there anything wrong? How come no man has ever made a statement to me before I refused? No man has ever asked her. 
her, as her hand in marriage. No man. He said, even, even just to say, I love you. No man. I said, and I, could, I thought you, you could think she's lying. Because she's a pretty girl. She's in her 40 without ever getting one suitor. One. One. No man has ever even showed an interest. I trembled. If somebody shows an interest on you, you are blessed. That's why I tell sisters, if somebody comes to get married to you, be gracious. Don't start speaking so horrible to the person. You? <laughs> I know of a sister who told a brother, you? You come for this class? Yes, she said that. And that was it. She has never been married. For this, she was, she feel as though she was in another class. This brother was in the lower class. How can you come for it takes boldness for a brother to come to you. Amen? Please, understand that you are blessed when somebody comes to you. Amen. Don't, don't start treating the person badly because they come to marry you. It's only somebody comes to do something else, give him a slap of his life. If he's married, be gracious. <laughs> Amen? Young girls, remember that. Hallelujah. But... I still remember that sister very well, and I, I, I tremble. People of God, it's grace to have a suit of, even say, I, want, I love you. Because I thought I could, I could not believe that she was telling us the truth. I said, my mind was open. I said, what? Nobody, he said, nobody has ever asked her. She has been in church all her life. All her friends are getting married around her. She has never even had a failed relationship. So brother, sister, understand God's grace. Amen. You are blessed. And thank God for the things you are blessed with. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. You are blessed. Shout with me, I am blessed. Amen. Shout it, I am blessed. Shout it as though you believe it. Amen. I am blessed, Lord. I thank you. Amen. Hallelujah. Child of God, you are blessed. You are favored by God. You are favored and you are blessed beyond description. You move in blessing. You live in blessing. You walk in blessing. Hallelujah. You are blessed. You are blessed. You are blessed. You are blessed. We are blessed. Father, we worship you because we are blessed as a church. We are blessed as a people. We give you the praise. We give you the glory. In the name of our Lord Jesus Christ, we proclaim that we are blessed and we live in blessing. Father, we as a church are blessed. We refuse to be ungrateful. We are a blessed church. We are a blessed people. We give you praise. We give give you glory we give you honor hallelujah to your name in jesus name amen i want to tell you church of god you are blessed amen. no man of god spoke to me after this message on sunday and they told me that they thank god for this pulpit that through this pulpit revelations are going to the world that will change the christian world amen. hallelujah that the message on the four wind given by Dr. Miles was revolutionary. And they said they have received message like speaking to the earth from this stage. That this pulpit is being used by God. This church is being used by God to touch the world. <clears throat> Hallelujah. He said you have provided, you and your church have provided access to the world. Amen. Dr. Miles told me he is at his best in our church. The wife told me, he said, he preaches things that he has, she herself has never heard him preach when he's here. Amen. He has preached messages on, the, on speaking to the earth in many places, preach. But when he comes here, it's another thing. Yes. They explode. Amen. New revelations. The wind was one of them. Yes. It just explodes. Yes. A 
and changes everything. So there is some riches here where the Lord created an open heaven in this church. When they come, he told me, he said, because men of God like Prophet Sadhu and many other men of God who are, who are full of God have been on this stage. And the, the stage has been opened and the angels of God. And because once a, 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 an anointed person passed by, he doesn't leave the place the same. Yeah. Something changes on that stage. That's why I remember one time somebody came to talk to me on the stage. The Lord told me, get down. You cannot bring any misunderstanding on this stage. Get down. Don't never talk there. I was shocked. He said, get down. If anybody has something to talk with you that they disagree, you should never be on the stage. This is not a place to discuss that. So I am amazed how God has used this church to touch the world. Amen. Bishop Bafo, president of CMF, I may be watching, and he, and he told me how blessed and how blessed and how he's taking the he has listened to it many times he's taking it and uh, to the elders and he wants them to pray for the church in yaoundé to pray and this is the time where we don't allow the enemy to just kick us around Amen. hallelujah Amen. hallelujah Amen. something will be you'll be so close to victory somewhere hmm? it just something just happened and stops it no seasons have changed in the name of Jesus, you release the wind, breaking the powers of the enemy. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. You know, a prophetess gave a word some time ago. He said, the Lord appeared to her, took her to heaven, and told her, he said, I'm releasing new revelations to my children. Amen. And she said something. I don't even know she, if she knows Dr. Ma. She said, the Lord told her, I am raising a new generation that will begin to command the, and speak to the earth, to the wind, and to the sea. And they will listen to them. Amen. That they will understand the power that I've released. That I create nothing that is not alive. Amen. The earth is alive. As I created it, I gave abilities and capacities to function with, and I put man to be in charge of it. Amen. You can command the earth to do things. You can command the wind to do things. So when I heard that, I said, wow, that looked nice. I said, how to do that? On that day, last Sunday, Dr. Miles released a major bomb weapon in the hands of christians Amen. hallelujah Amen. you can no more allow witchcraft to destroy you in with impunity to attack you no 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 i am as bold as a lion i was bold now i've reached another level Amen. witchcraft has not arrived they are nothing compared to the power of our god our god is a consuming fire hallelujah so child of god you are blessed we are blessed to be visited by God. Blessed. Men of God just love us. Amen. People are asking me, I remember Dr. Bruce was telling me, he said, what? <laughs> Penny Hinn? Ministering? I was talking with Dr. Bruce yesterday or today. Wow. So, he's coming to Israel with us. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And, 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 and Brother Vleman. Oh, they will come to Israel with us. Amen. Amen. We are trying to make sure that Nathaniel Basse becomes one, uh, the, the person that will be who will help to lead us worship during the Benihin program. Amen. So pray for that. We are making sure everything is settled. We are still discussing the details. Hallelujah. So people of God, we have found favor. We have found favor. Tell your neighbor you have found favor. Amen. Amen. The Lord loves us so much. Amen. God loves us so much. Amen. I want you to begin to rejoice. Amen. Anything that disturbs you, put it aside. Amen. Rejoice and see what God will do. Amen. Hallelujah. Are you struggling with something? Just rejoice and see what God will do. Thank God. Hallelujah. And bless the name of the Lord. Have you ever read the book, Prison to Praise? Have you read that book? Get, get one. 
Make sure that people get it, especially you are teaching children. Teach children how to praise God for difficult situations. The, in prison to praise the man, explain how this is what we need to teach our children. When things are going wrong, that's the time to praise God. You know how difficult it is when everything is collapsing around you. <laughs> you say, Thank you, Lord, for this, my son who is sick. <laughs> or something, I don't know what, something. Difficult moment. How do you praise God? He said, that's the time to praise God, not to complain. The more you complain, the more things get worse. Amen? Women, can I ask you a question? <laughs> Which of you have changed your husband by complaining about them? Just be honest. Tell me the truth. <laughs> no hand. Is, uh, I don't know if you are online. But no hand has been put up here. Maybe Sister Kashimo is listening somewhere. I want to ask a question. Which of you has changed your husband by complaining about them? His sister told me the more I complain, the worse he becomes. <laughs> Are you getting what I'm saying? And ladies who are married, look at me with your beautiful eyes. <laughs> Hallelujah. All of you, you don't. Amen. So I give you a new way. Worship. Bless God. Oh, you have used that weapon of complaining and grumbling. It does not work. Use the weapon of praise and worship. Thank God for him. Thank God for that weakness he has. Bless God. Say, Lord, my husband is not helping me the way I want. But Lord, I thank you. <laughs> He's a wonderful man. He's a gift from heaven. <laughs> I'm telling you, your whole being will be resisting what you are saying. But the more you say it, the more happy you become. You are taking away sadness out of your life. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. The same thing too for the woman. I mean for the man. Thank God for that beautiful wife you, God gave you. Amen. Thank God. Bless God for her. She's not doing it. Bless God for her. Hallelujah. If she's grumbling, bless God for her. But don't grumble, sister, in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. So today, before we go, I want us to make a commitment to the Lord. And the Lord is going to visit us in a special way. And that commitment is the commitment of praise, of exploiting the grace of God. Always enter into the level where grace carries you, not your labor. When grace carries you, it becomes easier. That's why the Lord said, my yoke is light. Yes. Hallelujah. And that yoke, remember, grace and truth came by the Lord Jesus. The Lord came by Moses. Grace and truth came by the Lord Jesus. So God's yoke is the grace. Because grace is light. He cannot tell you that his yoke is light and is not better. Are you getting me? His yoke is light because God's grace is the Lord Jesus. Hallelujah. 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 So it's easy for you. It's easy. Amen. Stop saying marriage is tough. The more you say it will, it's tough, the more it will become tough. Say marriage is easy. Say my husband will serve the Lord. In the name of Jesus. <laughs> Speak what you want, not what your frustration is. Amen? Tell your neighbor, don't speak your frustration. You will get your frustration. Speak what you want. 
and God will do it for you. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. So I want us to proclaim this before we go home. Because tonight is a night of grace. Tonight is a night of grace. It's a night of being strong in the grace of God. I want us to tell the Lord we shall be strong in his grace. Hallelujah. Say we shall be strong in the grace of God. Amen. Let's stand up together and proclaim it. We will be strong in God's grace. Before we go today, we say, Lord, make us strong in your grace. We shall be strong in the grace of God. Stand up and let's say it together. Lord, we thank you for your ability in us. Grace is your ability in us. We shall be strong in your grace. We shall be strong in your favor. We shall be strong in your grace. We, we from today, Lord, we, we, we choose to be grateful children of God. We shall be grateful for what you have done to us. We shall be strong in the grace of God. We give you praise. We give you glory. We give you honor. I want you to pray with me aloud. Say, Father, in the name of Jesus, I proclaim... I accept your command to be strong in the grace that is in Christ Jesus. I accept the grace of God and I proclaim by grace I will succeed in the areas of my life. By grace I am succeeding. I shall prevail by the grace of God. And I want you now to tell God the things that by grace you shall make it. Proclaim everything that comes to your mind. Because the Lord will bring the things to your mind. Now let's begin to say it. Lord, by your grace, we worship you, Lord. I will succeed, Lord God, as a leader and as a pastor and the bishop of this church and this ministry. I will succeed by grace, Lord. <clears throat> We shall plant a hundred thousand churches and more. By grace, oh great God, we shall, Lord, organize youth conferences, bring millions of youth to Christ, and also, Lord God, stir many of the youths of this generation to become violent lovers of Jesus, who are passionate for the King, in the name of the Lord Jesus. By grace, Lord, we thank you because you shall build your, you shall build your house, and you shall shall build this ministry by grace we worship you because lord by grace lord you, we will succeed oh god to carry the gospel through tv through different methods through tracks books and every method to the whole world by grace oh god this church will never be a church of scandal but a church of glory by grace oh great god we move from strength to strength from glory to glory by grace lord i will succeed oh great god as a wonderful father and as a successful father and a successful husband by grace lord in the name of the lord jesus we shall prevail we shall succeed in every area of our life by grace lord the finances that we need personally shall comfort the finances that we need as a church shall comfort by grace oh great god we we are depending on you lord to carry the gospel to the nations by grace lord we shall prevail we shall succeed you are built in your church and the gates of hell shall not prevail by grace lord god your children will succeed by grace lord there shall be no poor person in this church all of us who grow in wealth in and in abundance by grace lord
By grace, our children shall go right. All the children of this church shall go right. None of them will fall into sin. None of them will turn away from God. All the children here will walk with God. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, we pray by grace, Lord, our children will serve the living God and they will grow up loving the Lord Jesus Christ. By grace, none of our children will be abused, whether it be physically or sexually in Jesus' name. We proclaim our children are shielded. We build a hedge of protection around our children. Those who are here and those who are online, we cover them with the blood of Jesus and we say none of our children will be abused in any way. By the grace of God, they shall find mercy. In the name of the Lord Jesus, you expose everyone who has a plan to abuse them in any form. We proclaim by grace our children are protected by the grace of God in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. We plead the blood of Jesus on all our lives, all our families. And we dedicate ourselves to the living God. And we say we are people of grace. We are people who have found grace before God. We have found grace before you. That's why we will succeed. By grace, all our, all our endeavors shall prevail. In the name of the Lord Jesus. By grace, Lord, we shall go to Israel. And it shall be a victorious trip. By grace, oh Lord, we shall have the USA miracle conference with Pastor Benny Hinn, And it shall be glorious. Lives will be changed forever. Lord, there will be... Over a thousand miracles. People healed from different deadly diseases. We thank you by grace we will see miracles that we have never seen before. By grace things will begin to happen far and wide. Oh great God. By grace this church will experience exponential growth in every area. By grace we are growing in numbers. By grace we are growing in depth. By grace we are growing in the presence of God. We will experience power as we have not known before. By grace and in every domain this church is rising oh great god glorify your name by grace the standard of god shall never be lowered in this church we will maintain god's standards and by grace this will be holy ground we shall all walk with you lord none of us will be living in sin in the name of jesus by grace there shall be holiness in this church by grace by grace there shall be holiness in the name of the lord jesus by grace the power of god shall flow by grace no one shall die here before their time by grace each one of us will walk and live long life lord by grace oh great god we will walk in good health by grace anyone who needs healing shall be healed by grace anyone who needs deliverance shall be delivered by grace we shall be successful thank you lord we are you are people we belong to you in the name of the lord jesus christ everyone raise your hands and worship the lord and bless his name and thank him for the grace that is available in your life hallelujah by your grace we are winning by your grace we have prevailed by your grace we shall prevail begin to give him glory begin to give him praise in the Rubaka Sharaka the Rubaka Sharaka Rubaka Rababanda the Rabaka Sharaba Borubaka Sharaka Rubaka. Your grace is sufficient for us. Your grace is abundant to us. We give you praise. We give you glory. We give you honor. Your grace, your grace, your grace, your grace. Your grace, oh great God, is sufficient for us. We give you glory in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. Let's pray for our Sunday service. That the glory of God will descend this Sunday and his presence will fill this church, fill this place. Let's pray together. Father, let your glory fill this house and let your presence fill this church. We pray that we'll experience things we have never known before. And each one here who comes to worship you will meet you afresh. And that as we worship you, Lord, and as we listen to your word, our lives will never be the same. We welcome the angels of this church, the angel in charge of this church to walk in this place and transform this room and transform everyone here by the mighty manifestation of our great God. We say the chains of darkness will be broken and everyone who comes here, Lord, with bondages shall be set free. Thank you, Lord, we come by your name. 
and your name is greater than all. Lord Jesus, there's none like you. In Jesus' name, amen.